The most recent announcement to come from the Georgia Guidestones is that a bulldozer has knocked down the remaining stones. This photograph was just uploaded to social media an hour ago. Multiple photographs and videos show a bulldozer pulling down the remaining stones that were damaged a few hours earlier. As of right now, it's still not known who's behind the attack, but officials in the region are still carrying out their investigations, saying that it's early days and they still don't know who did this. When the photographs were shared, it was theorised that the stones were pulled down for the public safety, with one person saying that there was in the area and there was a lot of rubble, so said that it's likely they've taken down the other stones so no one gets hurt. One user by the name of Mr. Norman said the following, I'm standing here watching these things being torn down, and no one here seems to have any idea as to what's going on. I've read some online papers saying that this was an attack on the stones, and that someone may have used explosives, and that everyone in the area should be careful. However, there's a few people here right now watching bulldozers pull these things down. Not sure if it was someone who wasn't a fan of the stones, or whether it was a group of people that brought this thing down, but something seems off about this event. End quote. Interestingly, some have suggested that the reason it was brought down is because there's a time capsule underneath the structure itself, with various articles noting that there's a granite stone that's been set level with the ground, and this tablet goes into detail about the languages that were used in the guide stones, and other things such as the structure's size and true weight. Underneath this tablet there's said to be a time capsule, but as of right now there's blank spaces on the stone that haven't been filled in, with one line giving instructions for when the time capsule should be opened. However, as of right now, that section was never completed. It reads as follows. Place six feet below on this spot on. To be opened on. Some have questioned that if there is a time capsule buried beneath the guidestones, why is the date to be open left blank? This has led some to think that at some point a date would have been added, or have theorised that the time capsule was removed, or that it never existed in the first place. This is just one example of why the Georgia guidestones are shrouded in mystery. Another user said the following, I literally live walking distance from these stones and there's a lot of people here right now checking out what's going on. There's just been reports that a bulldozer has pulled these things down. This place isn't easy to reach and it's pretty much out in the middle of nowhere, so there's definitely something out of place here. They've also removed the stones there now. There's a time capsule underneath that may or may not be kept in the ground. This stuff has all happened within the hour, so I'll try to keep people updated. But right now, no one seems to have any idea why this has happened, and why the stones have been removed so quickly. End quote. Randall Sullivan visited the stones when they were standing back in 2009, and he said that the stones are there to give messages to humanity, and to help us in a time of need. He said they were designed in order to look like Stonehenge or an astronomical device. Sullivan said the following, The astrological specifications for the Guidestones were so complex that Joe Fenley, who was the president of Elbert Granite Finishing Company in Elberton, Georgia, was approached by a neatly dressed man who wanted to buy a monument. He had to retain the services of an astronomer from the University of Georgia to help implement the design. The four outer stones were to be oriented based on the limits of the sun's yearly migration. The centre column needed two precisely calibrated features, a hole through which the north star would be visible at all times, and a slot that was to align with the position of the rising sun during the solstice. The principal component of the capstone was an aperture through which a beam of sunlight would pass at noon each day, shining on the centre stone to indicate the day of the year. As of right now, no one knows the identity of the man, who only identified himself as Mr. Robert C. Christian, who said that he only wanted to help humanity, and know the cost of building a monument in the area. He said that he was part of a small group and wanted to send out a message, 
saying that they wanted to leave a message for future generations. So what do you make of this recent announcement? And why do you think the Georgia Guidestones have been torn down? Or so what do you make of their messages? And the alleged time capsule that's buried beneath them? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.